Taylor Decker, Kevin Strong are off the IR, and we got to buy this Sunday. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you all of you returning subscribers for being here. Shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers. I know what you're all thinking. You're like, Jay, where you been? Where you been? That loss against Philly was <laughs> detrimental to my heart. It it just it felt like a dementor was sucking out my soul with the kiss of death. Not something that I've ever wanted. Uh, alas, it was what I was given. Quite frankly, I didn't have anything to say. I just needed to take a little bit of time after that loss to really think about the future direction for this season of the content on this channel. Really trying to figure out which way I want to go uh, with the rest of this season at hand. The loss against Philadelphia, I just, I mean, you've, you've, we all felt it. It was the shot heard around the world for Lions fans. It's crazy because you look at this team and one week against Baltimore, man, we put up a fight that we should win that game. And then you look at Cincinnati and we get blown out. Then we hang with the Rams and then you get blown out uh, to smithereens by Philadelphia. It is just a lot of heartache uh, for this team. Now, we all knew coming into this year, we weren't going to have a winning record, uh, or at least many of us figured we wouldn't have a winning record. But at this point, at the bye, I did predict that the Lions would have three W's under their belt, and here we sit with a fat zero. So just a, a very rough loss against Philadelphia, and wanted to take some time to figure out where I wanted to go for the rest of this year. But first, just a quick shout out to the one and only Herman Moore. Herman Moore hooked me up with this signed, I'll just grab it, mini helmet got ourselves a little treasure here and i figured you know what this belongs is that the way it was facing when i started this video i don't think so i like that that feels better that looks better so huge thank you to herman moore for that figured it looked better up there having some more lines paraphernalia as we continue to go here so thank you herman moore so just some quick news going into this bye week Taylor Decker has been activated off of the IR, which is really great. However, when you look at it from the sound of things, he probably won't be playing for another three to four weeks at least. We just needed to activate him off the IR if he wanted any playing time at all for the rest of this season. Had he have been not activated off the IR, he would have been done for the season. That's the end. So with that, this opens up the possibility of seeing Taylor Decker out there, but Quite frankly, with the uh, finger being hurt once again back in early October, I don't know, we might not see Decker until week 12, if that, at which point, what's our record? Are we just trying to scrape for W? Would we see him at all? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I just, I don't. Also, Kevin Strong has been taken off the IR as well. He suffered some sort of brain head injury earlier this year. I think after week one, actually, he goes down. He's been out since week one. Well, now we have him back as well. And it's really good timing going into the bye. It's basically a free Sunday, a free week. When you look at it, free week and a half uh, before those guys could potentially play again. So that is good news coming into the bye week. Honestly, thank God we have a bye this week. I think the players need a rest. The coaching staff need a mental rest. And us fans need a rest from all that has happened so far this season. Just the amount of ups and downs and the heartache going 0-8 up to this point. The brutal loss against Philadelphia, which we should have just won that game, yet our guys came out playing flat. There was nothing. Nothing. There was no juice behind them. It was as if they all just said, hey, Mom, thanks for packing Capri Sun, but I don't want it. I'm going to trade it for those Dunkaroos. They're going to slow you down. Don't get me wrong. Big Dunkaroos fan, man. I didn't even eat the cookies. I just dipped that pinky in there and get it. You know, looking at that game against Philadelphia, it was pitiful as a whole. But when I look at Goff, I really do feel for Goff uh, in the fact that the guy's got nobody to throw to other than TJ Hawkinson or DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams when they're running these quick little routes. So really, when I look at Goff, I feel really bad for him in this situation. And I know we could all point to him and be like, man, you are, you're not playing well here. You're struggling there. 
But all in all, Goff doesn't have a true wide receiver one to throw to. And right now, there's no wide receiver two. There is nobody for Goff to be throwing the ball to, to have that comfortable chemistry and make things happen out on the field. So I do feel for Goff. I think this is a really good week to have the bye for the Lions with the way that the season has unfolded. Something interesting to look at, though, is the snap count between rookies and veterans at this point, specifically looking at the defense. We're watching an uptick in these rookies getting more reps while some of our vets getting less reps. I mean, perfect example, Trey Flowers against Philadelphia only had 20 snaps, and I believe that is a season low for him this year. And in the same way, Julian Aquara getting a total of, what, 36 snaps at the edge. And so with that, you're watching Julian Aquara get a season high, a career high. So between the two of them, taking it down a little bit on Flowers, adding more for Julian Oquara. And you look at that with Levi Onzarike as well. He also had a season career high for him in the snap count. So we're watching some of our rookies be put in there more, getting more opportunity to make more plays. Is that something that we're going to see continue for the rest of this year? Maybe, I don't know, we'll be able to see that as the season continues but that is something to note and honestly i'm okay with that i like that i think that especially as we're sitting 0 and 8 why not give some of our younger guys more playing time really getting prepared for next season because let's face it this season's a wash at this point 0 and 8 we have a tough schedule coming after the bye man this is this is rough this is this is tough however we should have all anticipated this from the start All in all, a rough game against Philly, a rough Halloween. However, we get a bye this week. You and I as fans get to rest, to calm down a little bit in lieu of what we saw last Sunday. So for the rest of you, just enjoy your day. I'll be putting out more content, obviously, as we continue to go. Really honing in on zeroing in on these rookies and their development. So until next time, expecto patronum! (laughs) Oh, <laughs>